OK, let's talk about more, uh, perhaps more immediate problems. And this is the state of our economy at the moment. We've seen mm. another interest rate rise. We've seen the RBA now warn that inflation is nowhere near under control and that there could be three more interest rate rises. Is that the right course of action? Well, we've, uh, we've been put on this inflation um, trajectory by the coalition effectively not dealing with supply chain issues. We know that those supply side shocks are the biggest driver of inflation growth and therefore triggering the interest rate response. Um, the coalition were terrible on this. Uh, they didn't repair those supply chain issues A little in thing time. called a pandemic, though. Do you give them a little out there? Fair, OK. Well, well let's, let's take that, that point on board. I think that's a fair point to make, right? But, I mean, the coalition didn't order enough vaccines. They didn't order enough rat tests. And they sent people off that were performing work during the pandemic, told them, go overseas. We had these huge labour issues where mm. businesses couldn't get people to do the work as the economy started to repair. Um, so skill shortages, supply chain problems uh, and rising energy costs, which they refused to deal with, these have all contributed, Laura, to some of those supply side shocks that are driving inflation. Is that now, why the, the RBA is, is now part... saying the government needs to do more to bring down inflation? Well, if I... Well, there are, there are a number of things. Let me come to that point, but just if I may quickly say, this is in part why we've, we're standing up the National Reconstruction Fund to deal with some of these supply chain issues and reduce our dependency on just a couple of countries for the products we need is, is the first thing. And on the, the stuff that you're talking about, I mean, we certainly recognise the impact of cost of living pressures. We've got... Uh, we do want to provide that cost of living relief, which is mm. why you're seeing cheaper medicines, cheaper childcare and the flagged support for energy costs. We do want to repair broken supply chains. And we also want to show spending restraint. We're returning nearly 100% of the revenue uplift that we're expecting back to the budget of savings compared yeah. to 40% with the coalition. So we're trying to do all the right things, the patient work, to rein in inflation, bring down interest rates, strengthen the economy, resisted along the way by the coalition. Is Stephen Jones right on the money here or do you think he's being too strong? Uh, right on the money in which, which regard? In, in, in terms of I, his criticism of the RBA. Well, I think, uh, look, we've got people that are expressing their concerns about the way in which decisions are made. Um, and Stephen I mean, is absolutely I know, but he's the assistant entitled. treasurer and his words probably have a little bit more weight than others. Is he, is he well, bang on? Are, are you all behind him on this or you the, think he should be quiet? The, well, I think Steve and is reflecting the views of a lot of people about trying to get some of these settings calibrated and that we want to make sure that in responding to inflation that we don't crunch the economy. That's, that's the big thing. And it's important to send that signal. We're doing a lot of work as a government. We want to be able to have other things joined up. And, you know, I think Steve's reflecting concerns that exist about, you know, trying to rein some of the or just to make sure that we're calibrating action mm. that, that will ensure that the economy can keep growing, that we can protect jobs, uh, and that we do the right thing by inflation and interest rates longer term. So three more interest rate rises. I mean, he's concerned about that, that it will smash people that are already smashed, don't have that disposable income anyway, and could send uh, the country into recession. My word's not his. Is that a concern? I, I think we are trying to do everything that we can to keep the economy growing, okay. to respond to the inflation challenge, to avoid the need for interest rate increases. The trajectory was set under the coalition. Remember that. Mm. Um, and we are trying to make sure that we, we do all those things and provide that economic stability. Okay. And, and you are seeing through a lot of what we are doing, Laura, that, that you can see in terms of the plan, what I've just outlined on those three key areas, cost of living relief, supply chains, and spending restraint, they form that foundation for all that work. Sorry to make you late for caucus. Uh, I've got to let you go. Uh, <laughs> did you enjoy the Rihanna show yesterday, by the way? Some football game, uh, other side. Look, just between I us, I don't think anyone else will hear this. I didn't actually see it. I didn't see Riri, so I'm really sorry about that. You should catch up with that. I heard all about that. it, though. You should catch up with okay. that. Thanks, Ed. Get oh, to caucus first, thanks. though. Thank you.